for it. <whistles> now then, stop shuffling. Shoulders back, our Douglas. You know, I used to strap a draining board to his back when he was little lad, but you know it's made no difference. Look at him now, he looks like a flaming tortoise. <laughs> Tell Mrs. Petty why we want to get slung out of that flat. Serious overcrowding. Mm. Four of them, Mrs. Petty. Bunking up in one room in two double beds, and when they go for a wash, it's like pigs round a trough. Sign the petition. Really, I must protest. This is completely unauthorised. Sorry, Mrs. We don't understand long words. Our Douglas. Tell Mrs. Petty where we want to go and live. Country. Aye, the countryside. <laughs> the wide open spaces west of Pontefract. <laughs> All green and grass and birds and flowers and chucky ends and a dear and a dear little Dutch pub that's open until four o'clock in the morning. Sign the petition and spell your name right. May I have that back? Just a minute. Our bunny. Tell Mrs. Petty where we want to live. In a caravan. Ah, in a gypsy caravan with big wheels and shiny brass lamps. <laughs> you never know, I might come round and tell your fortune one of these days. <laughs> Sign it. Our Raymond, tell Mrs. Petty why we want to get slung out of that flat instead of giving notice. Because they'll have to pay us compensation to find us elsewhere to live. Mm, what we call supplementary benefits. <laughs> Sign the petition. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Petty, it is my lifelong ambition to become a burden on the state. Give it your mother now, Raymond. <laughs> well, now that's it. You've got your 500 signatures. Don't thank us, love. It was a pleasure. <laughs> them, wouldn't you? How much do I owe you, love? Five, four custard tarts, two shillings. Not custard tarts, love. Individual cream caramels. <laughs> Chalk them up, will you? <laughs> well, perhaps they're turning over a new leaf. Mrs. Blakey, I shan't sleep easy in my bed until the pack of them are out the flats. The sooner this is in the hands of the housing authorities, the... Oh, this is a criminal offence. Family, they've stolen my petition. Then what's that in your hand, Mrs. Petty? It's a crude forgery, Mrs. Blake. Just listen. Harold Wilson, Jackie Charlton, Lillian Bard, <laughs> Donald Duck. <laughs> Wouldn't believe it. And it not only got criminal tendencies, Mrs. Blake. They've got cheek enough for everything. They're ignorant. They're, they're, they're uneducated. They're illiterate. Just look how they spelled the count in Dracula. <laughs> You remember that day, Jack, when we all got locked in that cafe until one o'clock hey. in the morning, drinking rum and pep? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I can still taste it. <laughs> How the hell can you remember? You were only three. <laughs> and our little bunny, he wasn't even born. Oh, you missed so many good times, didn't you, bunny? Just by not being born. Get away. It's the gin talking. Don't tell me it's the gin talking. I'll knock you straight through that window. No, it's your... It's your dad, you see. I miss him. Thought this was a birthday party, not a bloody film. Well, come on, bunny, let's have another song. Yeah, yes, let's, let's sing that one that your dad always liked. You know, when the lights go on again all over the world. Don't look at me, cos I don't know words. Well, our Douglas knows him. Come on, Douglas, get up and sing for your mother. I'm not singing, I don't sing. You sing tonight, <laughs> I like it. And you can make yourself useful and all. Have a tea of Maria and a fresh glass. Where when the lights go on again.
Mr. Jack Henry Shepherd. All over. Raymond Herbert Shepherd. <laughs> Anthony Shepherd. <laughs> and uh, Douglas Fairbanks. <laughs> Shepherd. And time is 20 to 1 in the morning. I'm surprised at you, Jeremy. I thought you had more sense. What can you do? They're spending £14 a week in here. That's income for me, is that? I've been going to Majorca for my holidays since they started coming in. Easy ways to make a living. You might have a chance to find one soon. I'm nicking you, Jeremy. Oh, what? Because they're playing the piano and singing. I'm licensed for singing. What's this you made of? Musical glasses? Oh, that's what's bothering you, is it? It's all right, we've got an extension. Extension? What extension? Oh, I do beg your pardon, Mr Thornton. I thought you knew. It's an extension for my private birthday party. Of course, they didn't want to grant it, but once we showed them that petition, well, they didn't have very much option. For... Petition? That's right. 500 signatures she's got there, all genuine. And all their neighbours... All their neighbours got together just so she could have a birthday party. <laughs> Surprise me, I can tell you. Ah, it surprises me too. <laughs> all right, then. Where's all guests? Oh, we thought we'd keep it just family. Just family, so you don't want a big crowd, do you? No, just the five of us sitting here drinking legally. This extension's till one o'clock. I want you off these premises in good order by one minute past. Uh, Ten minutes past, Mr Thornton. You've forgotten the ten minutes drinking up time. Cheers. Oh, watch it, Mrs Shepherd. Just watch it. Oh, we always watch it, love. Invariably. <laughs> Come on, our bunny. Let's get on with the song. <laughs> 